Hey, this is JT at Rubber City Motoring. Uh, today I have something from Raspot Specialties. If you look back at the previous videos, he made the door pulls for the Impala, and he also made those like armrest saver things that drop in there, and they, they bolt down to basically save the rubber on your armrest. This is the radiator cover that replaces the factory plastic one. And if you look, he gives you everything with it. Bolts, some uh, spacer slash trim pieces. Normally, I'd say this wouldn't be my cup of tea. Uh, if anything, I'd buy this and I would make it just plain black or gloss or, you know, satin like this. But we kind of got to talking and he was able to put Rubber City Motoring on it, which is so crazy cool. He did tell me that my Hotchkiss brace is going to fit over this no problem. So fingers crossed, there's no issues with that. So with that being said, I'm going to get this going here. I'll show you how to take the stocker off and uh, we'll get this one on. It's a pretty easy job from the way it looks here. So here we go. Here's our stocker. Uh, lots of labels on here and, you know, factory stuff. You got your uh, belt routing, the deck school, the airbag, and then the caution sign for the fans. All that's going to be gone and this will all be replaced with that fancy schmancy uh, satin black with the rubber city motoring. Super pumped to see it in here. What you need though to take this out, these are 10 millimeter bolts. There's four of them and you just undo them and, and that's it. I would save them because you're gonna use the new hardware that he gives you. And you know, if you ever go back to this someday, uh, which I, if I ever sold the car, I think I would keep my rubber city motoring piece uh, just for myself. So I'd probably put this back in. So save your bolts, save your plastic. Yeah, you never know what when you're going to need this piece again. So let me get these out of here and uh, we'll kind of compare the two. So as I said, four 10 millimeter bolts come out of the stocker and it lifts right off. My biggest worry was these rubber isolators, I guess you want to call it, that sort of hold the radiator right there. Um, those actually, I already got one out. I was really kind of worried it would break or it just comes right out. I'd say to reinstall, you might want to put some WD-40 or, or something on there so it just it pops right into those holes. But there's two of those, kind of only go on one way it looks like, um, but I think they are, I would say, side specific. There actually is a part number on it there, if you can see that. You can get new ones if you wanted to. So there's that. I'm going to get those going. But what I did want to do here is I'm going to drop in a quick, super quick snippet on uh, this actual piece being made. Uh, over there with uh, Mr. Raspot himself and uh, it's pretty crazy how this stuff is etched, cut, the whole deal. So uh, take a look at uh, this. As I said in other videos, I don't necessarily have a show car engine bay. It's pretty functional. Uh, I try to make it look nice, but you know, it is what it is. But anyways, this part where it's going to get bolted down, I'm going to give it a quick wipe off. Uh, I have these Jack Manufacturing Everything wipes. They kind of do a number of things. I've used them all over on the car, different spots, but I'll kind of hit this whole thing. Uh, it's a good idea just to have a nice clean surface when you put down your, your fancy new piece there. So uh, yeah, get this going and uh, should be able to reinstall here in a minute. Rubber is installed. Now I was, before I took this part, the Technically, this will be the passenger side is uh, quite different, so you're not going to mix them up, but just make sure you don't mix them up. Um, as I said before, these are pretty much made to order. This is the satin. He can give it to you in a gloss. He also has these different grommets and screws and different uh, configurations, colors. So basically, Talk with him with what you want. Um, I mean, this legit took some time just because, you know, we went back and forth on different options, different ideas, test runs, and, and he made sure it, it came out right. I mean, it was definitely a, a trial and error with a couple things, so, but those are in there now. I'll show you the bottom view as well. You can see it in there. One thing I will caution you with this, this is powder coated. It's not a, uh, I mean, it's it's tough. Powder coating is tough stuff, but you know, you, you don't want to be doing this job in the middle of five other things. This is kind of a finishing, finishing touch. Um, so, you know, I'd say make sure your hands are clean. Make sure you don't have tools sitting around. Just be very, very careful with this. I'm going to actually um, test fit it up there and then kind of work into my, my screws after that. Um, these are just an Allen head screw that get turned in with the grommets and 
you're gonna appreciate these holes that are oval shaped instead of all circle and they are like that on the factory too but at the same time that's a little I'd say a touch that you're only gonna get when somebody knows what they're doing he perfectly matched the oval up there to the oval here oval here oval here but oh my gosh look a circle here and a circle up there and then an oval on the end so those ovals definitely give you a little wiggle room but at the same time it's crazy that he perfectly aligned it to how the factory was so it should go right on so we'll see here what we got Okay, so if you look, um, as I pushed it down, you notice everything kind of moves. I mean, that's what holds your radiator in place, so you know you can sort of, if it, it looks like it kind of needs to go to the left a little bit, that's fine. It'll go to the left. That's so cool looking, though. Oh, man. All right, so as I said before, I was on the fence with this stuff. My engine bay is not a show car, but dang, that looks so much better. It's Once again, it's a piece that looks like yeah it could have come from the factory like this but it didn't but man it, it, that looks so much nicer even if you had just plain black nothing else on there no writing or anything that would be absolutely amazing all right let me get uh, i'm gonna get screws going here next in the grommets these are your grommets they're gonna go kind of like that and then you have a allen head screw that's gonna go on there as well i don't know about you guys but i use my coolant reservoir is my bolt holder more often than not. I feel like we need one of these with a little tool or bolt holder built in for these cars. All right, so you basically get it in there and then you finger tighten it. Be smart with this, don't cross thread, don't over torque. Just kind of do it right. Take your time with it. This is a non, this is one of those non rushing jobs. Your threaded portion might need a little spray of something in there to make this easier. I don't know. When I had the engine out, uh, all this was out, so I'm pretty much cleared out, and I have, I'll say, some pretty clean threads in there. But I don't know what yours is like. Now with these, I wouldn't Gorilla Torque them. You can see as you get down there, the grommet starts to spin, and right about there, that's all I do. If you're real crazy, that one hits right there. If you're real crazy, you could put a dab of Loctite. I don't know who's that crazy, but you could, if you're worried about this. There goes, the grommet starts to spin. Let me set this on here just right. And that's pretty much it. Last one is this closest one to you. It goes a little bit below flush, it seems, into that grommet. The grommet starts to spin. Radiator moves, you can see it. Just a smidge like a lot of the rubber allows it. And there you have it. I will say that was super, super easy to do. The rubber things, as I said, were my, my biggest worry. Like, oh, are they gonna come out easily? They popped right out. This thing fit perfectly, no issues. That's legit, let me back up and show you here. Avoid everything else that's ugly and just focus on that. Well, other than the 383 that's running pretty good now, everything else that's going on. But, oof, I will say he's done it again. You seriously have. And I want to show you real quick. 
what I'm talking about when it means just looking like it should have from the factory. So like I said, these are his door pulls. I went with just plain black. There's a video, I'll link it below, of me putting these on. And then there's the armrest saver inside there. Gosh, it's just so cool. I just can't get over this stuff. It's I don't know what else he can come up with, but whatever he's going to come up with is going to pop. It just looks so much cleaner and nicer on these cars. So hats off to you, man. Amazing, amazing part up there. And these are cool, too. Engine bay brace installed. It does touch. Well, no, actually, it doesn't. I thought it would touch right there. I don't think it does. So when I asked him, I said, is this going to work with my engine bay brace? Because you can see it clearly it overlaps. He said, oh yeah, it'll work perfectly. I was worried, but it doesn't seem to hit. So that's super cool. So there we go. All done. Bolted up. Good to go. And like I said, this is a showpiece, so be careful with your tools. If you're you know, changing your battery, whatever, it's definitely something that is going to get dinged if you're not careful. But... I dig it, man. Look at that. That's super cool. The only thing I'm missing now is a sticker for my belt routing, which I'll just have to save a picture of it on my phone or something. But how often are you really changing your belt? So check out raspot.com, R-A-S-S-B-O-T.com. That links you to his Instagram, Facebook, all that. He's in the Impala groups. He's easy to get a hold of. Um, but he can get you anything. Everything's pretty much made to order. So you have to let him know what you're looking for. Um, and, and he'll do it. He ships it out pretty quickly, uh, fully insured when it's shipped. So, you know, if there is an issue, you, you get it taken care of. Overall, I can't speak like highly enough with how awesome he was to work with on multiple projects. So, um, if you're looking to get into the, we'll say, the custom game with the metal pieces, the pulls, the uh, aluminum radiator shrouds, any of that stuff, um, check him out for sure. Raspot.com, hit that up and uh, he'll get you set up. I do know he's going to be at Nationals in Pittsburgh in like three weeks now, two weeks, I don't know. Um, I should be there. Most of you might be like that. Um, I should be there, so if you want to say hello, um, take a look at the car, see it actually in person if you've been following along. Uh, more than welcome to say hi, but um, and including the shroud. That's you know kind of why I rushed to get this on there. I wanted to have it there to show everybody and also um, actually uh, meet... Um, creator mr raspot himself so uh yeah all right thanks for watching rubbercitymotoring.com check that out for more subscribe to this channel if you want more on this car um if you notice back there my garage is going through continued rehab to make it a better place to work to film in um should have a more we'll say studio feel uh to it once i get kind of everything painted put up uh that whole thing because it is kind of somewhere i spend a lot of time and i want to make it nice and nice to look at on camera too so all right Take it easy. Thanks for watching.